Hi everybody, my name is Mike and I am the founder of Talk About It Mate. Here I am with another video and uh, looking forward to telling you a little bit more about what we've been doing. Um, and yeah, if you've not seen it before, then I hope you like it. If you have seen it before, then I hope it's slightly better than the last one. Um, growing into it, like I said. Um, well, we've been busy, we've been very busy. I think it's been a month since the last video and uh, really putting the group out there. Um, we've expanded our Facebook, we up to over 100 likes or followers on Facebook. I mean, that's a good way to get through to the masses, I suppose. And, um, you know, that's a good way for people to contact us as well. Contact us, send us a message, uh, which is great. And then um, it's a good way for us to share content and what we're doing. Um, I'll always say divert to our meetup page because that's where we publish at any of our events. Just because I have me had meetup for a while, it's been how I've organised events and you know, it can, it can easily get navigate to there from Facebook. Um, yes, podcasts, podcasts. Let me tell you about podcasts. I really enjoy podcasts. Um, mainly, you don't know, have to be on the video. You can just it's just your voice, but it's just a conversation with some nice people with different perspectives and learning about certain things. So, um, yeah, we've done. Well, I just released the third one today, actually. Um, so, yeah, we've had a podcast with myself and producer Paul um, we've had a podcast with Chris and we've had a podcast with Lindsay uh, all different takes on on um, issues regarding mental health and well-being and they're uh, all interesting you know and it's good for me to to have these conversations I love having them and um, got more lined up and there's lo lots I'd love to do but if you know you happen to see this video and you think that you would like to be involved in a podcast uh, you run your own organization in mental health then you know we can give you the platform to get your message out there and uh, i will be messaging around more people in the future um yeah exciting times I had a really good chat the other night with a tv producer um who was making a program about weight loss so she heard me on the podcast for man versus fat who that's a great podcast i just recommend it um she heard me and she said somebody mentioned my name and then I had a chat to her about what, you know, what process I went through with regards to weight loss and mental health. And uh, sometimes, you know, to remind myself about that, I do look back on previous YouTube videos and, you know, you might recognise me from the guy that is in the first video, uh, mainly because he wasn't as confident and he was a lot more, a lot heavier than, than, than I am now. So it's always good for an ego boost, I suppose. Um, but yeah, just again, another example of... Um, myself putting putting the group out there and uh, I wouldn't ever do that without the support of other people but it was great to speak to her on the phone this producer and give her an insight into what what I did and and what people need um, and you know, I think they need to see regular people uh, like I'm just a regular person self-taught on a lot of these things putting themselves out there and, and don't need loads of experts telling them things and confusing them things because it just alienates people I know that, that that's what I'm like. I either like went to the gym or anything didn't like that. You know, I worked on something with the football and things at home that did it for me. Um, and in terms of mental health, again, it's a you find the best fit for yourself. There are lots of people out there who have experienced things, and maybe they're a, they're a good place to start, especially in terms of peer support. Um, so what worked for them obviously won't work. Might not work for you. But you might get an idea of something and then in a less daunting way than speaking to uh, somebody who's like a, a pirate professional person. You know, if you've got, if you are worried about that, then there is lots of peer support out there. I mean, you need people who are qualified, you know, are qualified for a reason. Um, but I just think that if for early intervention, if you feel like you might have a little problem going on, um, you could speak to someone from a, a, a group like ours or come along and find somebody else who, who will empathise with that and I think that's very, very much doable and it's all about changing the stigma, a lot of people talk about this there's loads of good groups out there, I keep saying this but I'm finding out every single day all the great things that are out there, all the great charities, all the great groups on Instagram, Twitter, all out there which I'd love to connect with in the future and um, that can only be a good thing, you know people are coming at this from a good place um, and even if you're in a time of crisis, there's lots of numbers and, and things you can go to for support. Hope of Hope, another good example of that. 
and all these people are working to change the perception is a movement now starting and um, that we're of peer support where people are helping each other and uh, that can be particularly um, important especially if you're waiting for some you know for some therapy or client counseling you know maybe you've gone you know to the doctor and you're waiting for that these things could be useful for you if you if you haven't even been to the doctor yet if you felt felt that there is something going on or, or even if you don't feel you need to um you know loads of people just muddle along and it's great like do and do find great people and you know, if, if you feel like somebody's getting on top of you and you want a chance to socialise or, or get something off your chest, there's loads of groups out there. I mean, I would highly recommend talk about it, mate, of course, but um, lots of great things on Meetup. Um, and I will keep repeating that because why wouldn't I? You know, it's it's only going to help us grow as a group and I'm going to meet more people who I can work alongside in the future. Uh, so excited, really, to talk about my new venture. Um it's called Wellbeing Wednesdays, which I'm running through talk about, mate. And then um, it's a series of six wellbeing sessions. And um, my kind of feeling behind this is some, that's something I experienced a few years ago, about three years ago when I was living in London. And had a bad time of anxiety and I was off work. Um, and yeah, I went to these sessions that were run by the NHS in my local area where I was living at that time. And I found them quite informative, uh, they weren't too daunting, they gave me some tips and techniques which I could implement into my own life. And, um, you know, I was lucky that I kind of had to wait maybe a month or, or something to, to get these. And uh, I think I had um, four sessions and, I, I, you know, it gave me a taste of, if anything, I wanted to talk to people more because uh, that's just that kind of person that I am. So this is something that's kind of been in my mind for about three years and all the things that have happened since. Uh, I've kind of collected a lot of information along the way and I do feel that I can deliver these sessions with my own spin on them and um, so I you know put together a lot of resources and I'm in contact with a lot of people who who have advised me on this but I also I'm starting to trust myself more and uh, I believe in myself so stand in front of a room full of people and deliver something I do that on a daily basis and most of the time they don't listen to me so this will be great in that I, I think with adults that um, <laughs> they'll be up for that and um, yeah the sessions do cost five pounds but um i think that's fair in that i'm preparing a lot of materials you can dip in and dip out whenever you want the tip materials form a toolkit uh, of, of resources that you could uh, use to to enhance your mental health and well-being then i'm not saying this you know this may you've got major problems if you have to come along you just might want to make a few subtle tweaks to your daily life that might enhance your well-being and happiness. This could possibly be a, um, a way of doing that. Um, I'm not going to make any promises. Uh, all I know is that I believe a lot of these things that I'll be presenting have worked for myself and I do believe in the power that, of them to help others. And uh, within that five pounds, um, you will get refreshments at the venue. We've got a really good venue in Northern Quarter, which I'll come on to. Um, you obviously will get somebody who will give their own expertise and their own experiences. Um, you know, I, I have done some training in counselling and I will be coming back to that in the future. I will have a um, counsellor there with me for the first couple of sessions. Um, you'll get to meet and chat with other people and I think that's what I felt those things were missing. Um, the sessions will last an hour but there will be time afterwards for people to have a drink or a chat. Um, no obligation to have an alcoholic drink, of course, um, but it is in a nice place and you do great beer. Um, so I think you think of all the things that you'd spend five pounds on, you know, spend five pounds on, on a pint if it's a nice place, a nice pint. Um, and I think actually five pounds for my well being, uh, I would have, I would do that. Um, so I'm doing something that would have worked for me, and if people are interested in that. I do feel that this could be a really good thing. Uh, like I pay five pounds for a Pilates class. Uh, I pay five pounds for a game of football. So, actually, in, in the possible impact that this could have long term, if we're planting a lot of seeds here, uh, are massive for five pounds. I mean, there are six sessions, and you don't have to come to every one. But I would recommend that you, you, if you tried it, you liked it, you came back again because it, you grow, and that toolkit would would increase and we'll talk about different kinds of issues 
Um, and, you know, anybody could benefit from this. You know, this is the kind of thing that we need to roll out uh, all over, you know, in the workplace, which is, I'm hoping if we grow, I could deliver those workshops in the workplace for young people, certainly for teenagers. That's something that I'm looking to do in the, in the near future. Uh, this first set of workshops is for men and women. We've talked about natives for men and women. Um, so don't worry about that. The first session's on Derby night, so I imagine not that many guys who are football lovers will be will be coming. But you come to future sessions and try it, see if you like it. You know, what's we got to lose? And um, honestly, I would highly recommend it. Also, I'll get better and better as we go on, won't I? So, uh, and then finally, this is the kind of thing that could be adapted um, to work with children, in younger children in schools. Obviously, I'm a primary teacher, and I believe that this is the kind of thing that would work, not just in children's mental health, but you, you could deliver with a whole school assembly and go round the classes uh, with some activities. And I really do think it's better. It's, it's better. It's valuable coming from somebody who's experienced certain mental health issues. For example, depression, anxiety, um, attention deficit, things that I, I have personal experiences of. But there are other people that have got other experiences that I, I'm learning from all the time. And we're always learning, aren't we? Um, so, yeah, learn about stress, worry, other topics, talk with other people. You know, it's not just going to be me talking. Uh, there'll be a lot of interactive, what you can talk in pairs, share experiences, work on techniques, examples. No pressure to speak. We'll agree on a contract. We'll talk about boundaries. And, yeah, enhance this toolkit. Um, and I'm really, really, really excited for this. I'm so excited. It's probably the proudest I've ever been um, to be able to do this. And I can't wait to be doing this uh, video again in the same month's time and to be telling you how well they're going. And they are accessible. There's no weight. There's no pressure. Give it a try. So, yeah, check out our link on, on meetup.com. The first one is Wednesday the 24th of April at 7.30pm. And it's at Marble Beers in Northern Quarter. Um, like I said, that one is Derby Night. <laughs> but um, yeah, it lasts for an hour. I'll be there from seven, but it starts at half seven. It lasts for an hour. I'll stay on for half an hour at the venue if anyone else wants to chat. Um, absolutely. You know, it's the least I could do. Um, but I really would recommend this to people. And if you know of somebody who might benefit, then yeah, you might think, oh, Mike's the kind of guy who could maybe get through to the person that I know, or, or I could learn something from him. And I could learn from you, you know, like, but I really do think that these are great. I've gone on for a long time. I went, okay, but, you know, just being authentic. <laughs> and then we're going to follow that up Sunday, 28th of April. I have mentioned this previously. Let's talk. That's our staple uh, talk about a meet up at Cafe Nero on Peter Street. And that's going to be yeah, just a group of people having a coffee. It's free. Come along, have a chat, meet some people. Share some idea, do some networking, and yeah, just 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 do it. I suppose I think that's what I've been doing for the last three or four months, possibly longer. Just do it. You know, I'm scared. I have my low points. I was sat last week, um, just over a week ago, at this, at this very table, coming home from this, working at a school where it just it didn't feel very well for me, and I was just sat in tears. And I thought, what am I doing? Uh, but things have just got a bit much for me, and doesn't mean I'm a freak, I'm a weird person, you know, I'm a bit weird, but um, you pick yourself up and keep going and I'm surviving and here I am making videos for YouTube, um, talking to TV producers, going on the radio, Salford City Radio, yeah, I'll put it on Instagram actually, yeah, myself and producer Paul, um, he's, he's sorted it all out, got a little spot on Voices of Salford talking on um, the radio, which is fantastic and you know, I couldn't imagine of doing of him doing these things before, but I think it's just an example of belief, and and these things pet me up. So you know, if, as I'm going to plan these sessions in the next few days, this is what I need to give me that lift to pet me up. And if it works for me, I'm not, um, you know, I'm not afraid to say that, and um, you know, to, to challenge this this whatever the stigma perception that people who are issues of anxiety or depression or other things uh, miserable or you know it's very sombre no I mean I do think that the kind of person I am I'm not going to be running a really really monotone 
um, session when we're reading from a slide, you know, I think it's going to be interactive and, you know, 10 years in teaching has taught me that I don't want to be standing there harping on for a long time. I will impart what I know and, you know, hopefully it will grow organically from there. But yeah, check out our website um, on meetup.com, check out our Facebook page, Talk About It Mate, Twitter at Talk About It Mate, uh, Instagram as well. Um, yeah, just, you know, like, share, follow, you know, the group, or you know somebody, put them in, tell them about us, put them in touch. Um, let's get this going, let's get this movement going, that real, authentic, normal, everyday people can make a massive difference to people's lives, and if we all do that for each other, life is going to get better, isn't it? And, you know, that's a brilliant thing. So, more of that, please. Talk about it, mate. Everybody take care of themselves. Bye-bye.